right, everybody. So listen to this very common scripture, um, and I want to talk about it. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. So the Lord is saying that he wants to prosper us. He doesn't want to harm us. He wants to give us hope and a future, all right? So this is the plan that he has for every single one of us, not just me, not just you, but all of us. His plans for us are good, okay? So we all know as believers, in order to obtain those plans, we need to um, do Romans 10 and 9. And that's where we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus. And we believe in our heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and then we're saved. All right. So once we do that, we are in we are able to receive every single good plan that God has given us. All right. Or that God desires for us. Um, a key, both of them are key because it's confession and believing. But. When we're saying, when we confess with our mouths the Lord Jesus, what we're really saying is, God, I surrender my life to you, all right? It's no longer about you. I am a part of your kingdom, which is, your, which is God's way of doing things. And what you say is what it is for my life. Because that's what we're saying when we're confessing him as Lord over our life, all right? Um, so again, once we do that, we are able to receive all the wonderful outcomes and benefits that he has for us in our lives. But I was thinking today, when God tells us not to do something, right, it's not because he's trying to um, not allow us to live our best life, right? It's not because he doesn't want us to... Um, enjoy life. It's not because he wants to us to spoil our fun. It's not because of any of it. It's because there are outcomes attached to the things that he says not to do, that he doesn't want us to have. All right. So, so a good example is the Bible says flee fornication. All right. So that is sex outside of marriage with one man and one woman. All right. So God is saying flee from that. But again, he's not saying it because he doesn't want us to enjoy sex with our spouse because that's what he created it for. He created it. But he's saying it because when we do it, if we do it, there are outcomes attached to that that he doesn't want us to have. You know, he doesn't want us to endure heartache and heartbreak. He doesn't want us to deal with baby mama and baby daddy drama. He doesn't want us to deal with um, diseases and sickness. He doesn't want us to deal with all the outcomes that come with doing what he said, what he said not to do. And, and fornication is just one thing. There are many things, but to receive the benefits that God has for us, we should do what he says to receive the good things that he has for us, the good plans, doing what he says is vital, all right? And again, that's just when we say, God, you're Lord over my life, then that means that our lives are now his. It's not about us anymore, all right? So I just want to encourage you today, um, God's plans for your life are good. Come in alignment with his word, with whatever he says um, for your life. And we will, you will see the benefits, the good benefits that he has for us, all right? God bless you. Be encouraged. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Bye-bye.